Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction, coach. Now today we got something a little controversial. You feel me? Um, Quavo and so well, if you couldn't tell from the title, Quavo and Saweetie, of course they broke up. Um, we actually did that full length reaction to uh, Saweetie and Justin LaBoy and Justin Combs. That little like 20, 30 minute uh, interview or I don't really know what you would call that. That respectfully Justin, where she went viral for saying the whole she would give her man the privilege of picking the man for them to have a threesome with. That whole situation. If y'all haven't heard of that or haven't seen it, I'll drop a link up there. Y'all be sure to go check that out. That was like a 40 to 50 minute reaction. You feel me? But it was some some like good good uh, gems dropped in there, I would say. You feel me? But either way, bro, today we are reacting to supposedly Sweetie and Quavo got into somewhat of a scuffle. People saying it's a fight. I've actually seen the video itself on our DJ Academics page, but I didn't get to like really, you know what I'm saying, break it down. Um, so that's what we gonna do here. And for the ones who haven't seen it, this will be your first time seeing it, but we gonna break it down together. Um, and we gonna get into the whole narrative of what people saying about it and that whole thing. And really we not here to, you know what I'm saying, really bash or, or like really do nothing too too hurtful or too crazy to any to 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 either of the the uh, parties involved with this. Really, we just using this to shed light on situations that happen like this all over the damn world. You feel me? Whether it's the guy actually put his hands on her or did something to like actually physically harm her, so he should be dealt with accordingly, or whether she just said he did and he actually did nothing. You feel me? And she just either over exaggerated. Or something like that, you feel me? But either way, I'm definitely going to let y'all be the full judge of this at the end of the video. But like I said, we about to go ahead and break this thing down. Full video, only a minute 28. I ain't got the headphones because it's no audio for this video. So hold on, bro. We're going to watch it all the way through in regular speed. And I'm going to slow that bit down. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, coach. We real live needed some damn audio, no cap. We we for sure could have used some damn audio, but hey, it is what... Hey, people was comparing this to the uh, Jay-Z and Solange fight. Like, what the hell is y'all talking about? But I, I told y'all we trying to come with a little bit of different content. This is definitely along the, the lines or something like that, but let me go back full screen for y'all. So Quavo's already come. Matter of fact, like I said, we're going to watch it through one full time then bring it back, break it down. I was about to say something, but like I said, we gonna wait. We gonna we gonna run it back and wait. She on the ground, hella long. Like, what is going on? And he's still waiting on her. So it ain't like he just like, all right, I'm out. You feel me? I got my damn bags. I'm out now type thing. Is she lit? Like, has she been drinking or is she just... Now, I did see DJ Academics video. He was like, how this looks, how they're acting in this seems like this isn't they like first time. You know what I'm saying? Having a uh, situation like this, a little scuffle, but obviously it's on camera this time. Now let's go ahead and break this down in slow motion real quick. And like I said, we are using this really for educational purposes. For certain stuff where people act like 
the the a woman can never be in the in the the a wrong no matter what like she can do anything and if if the guy did anything as far as anything to her besides just stand there and take whatever she's doing he's in the wrong there's situations like that bro stuff like this happen all the time where it's like i can't i like the damn guy as a, a man you don't have anything to like really back you up society for the most part ain't just gonna be on your side just to be on your side so unless you got hardcore video evidence here then you really can't do much but let's break this down in slow motion so we see quavo's already coming back she's reaching in to grab that orange case or whatever it is so i would assume i don't know i mean obviously we don't know how it started i would assume she grabbed the first bag and threw it out tried to come back to the second one to take that out and be going at the same. I, that's a little tricky. It's a little tricky, coach. Because it's like, what is she? You feel me? Like, what is she? I would assume she threw the first bag out there. Like, tried to launch it. So, she already know he going to go and grab it. So, it's like, all right. Now, I got a quick second to try to grab this and get up out. But it's like, I don't know. Either way. So, he obviously, he, he meets her right there. Like, what's up? You're not about to just, you feel me? We're not going to do that. Now, he did pull her in there, which I feel like that's some of the main, because it's a lot of females like, bro, Qu cancel Quavo, bro, uh, Quavo hitting girls. And then I'm like, hitting? Where, where did he, he did not hit this girl at all. Like, what are you talking about? Now, he did pull her in there, but we don't know whose bag is whose. We don't know what's going on. You feel me? It could be 500K in that, in that, in that orange uh, little duff or handbag or whatever that is suitcase you know what i'm saying it could be whatever in there and that could be his and she trying to not necessarily like she trying to rob the nigga you feel me but i'm just saying she could literally be trying to take something that's his like i'm gonna just run off like ain't ain't shit going you know what i'm saying shit is not sweet we're not just about to let you do what you want to do like if you taking your stuff take your stuff you can't just take mine and think you're just about to run off with it Now, right here, he falls on her. Kind of, well, I mean, he's trying to get it from her. So he's basically like putting himself in between her and the actual suitcase so he can basically pry it from her type thing. Now, here is where the OD starts. You feel me? This is where the where she's uh, overdoing it, in my opinion. I know some of the ladies going to say, well, you can't say she was. I'm just saying, look at how this goes down. He pulls her back in. You're not going there. Get over here. Now we getting on the ground trying to fight for it. I feel like her knee probably hit the floor of, of the uh, elevator. And then she kind of overdid it with the, oh, I'm, I'm just so hurt. Like maybe it did hurt, but she did it like one of the comments was like she literally laying there like like a bro knocked her out or something like. What are you, what's going on here? Like, I can understand, though, if you like, if your knee hit a damn hard surface, hard as hell, like, you feel me? You're going to be hurt a little bit, but she on this bit, like, like she broke her knee or something. So, of course, after that, he like, all right. And you see, he get, oh, it do say Call of Duty. I did say that they, they said that. So, they, they said that's probably Quavo's because what are the chances Sweetie has a suitcase with, with a Call of Duty on it? And Offset is a is a like gamer and all that, so I feel, I'm pretty sure that would be Quavo's. Still, I mean, that's tough, bro. It's tough to break down. But after he got it, you see he's standing there with it. Like, I ain't trying to hit you. I ain't trying to, you feel me? Like, peace your shit and nothing. I'm trying to get my stuff. You ain't about to just run out with my stuff. Now, it would have been different if if he had grabbed her and she didn't have anything in her hand. To me, that would be different. But he's just standing there like, and he looking down like, you, you know what I'm saying? You seen his his uh, hand move there, which is more so like, bro, get up. You feel me? Like, what are you doing? So he just standing there. Now, the wild part is the door opens and it's a man standing right outside of this thing. Quavo. That's that I was caught in 4K, my nigga. <laughs> That's the face of I was caught in 4K HD, my nigga. 60 frames, 120 frames per second, bitch. 
Oh, no, nah, this is about 480, but you get the point. You know what I'm saying? Quavo went like, ah, damn, my nigga, damn. This man just standing there like ain't shit happening. Of course, he's sitting there on the ground. Quavo's moving like he's trying to move the damn bag. He really, Realistically, he's probably just trying to cover her up just a little bit so it ain't looking too bad or too wild. But that's why I said, it, was she drinking? Like, because the way she's ODing, like, this, like, you could be a little lit and maybe you ODing it like that. Or if this, if you're not lit whatsoever and you're doing this, come on now. And it's crazy because the Amigos are getting ready to drop off a new project. They said that Saweetie's team is behind this video coming out. Which is like, what's the purpose? You feel me? What's the purpose in you putting this video out after the fact? Like, we've already broken up. What is, is this going to gain you anything by putting this video out? And for the ladies, how do y'all feel, bro? Pause the video right now. Get down there in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think Quavo was in the the uh, wrong? Because like I said, for some of the comments I saw, they was like, bro, you shouldn't, you know what I'm saying, touch a female at all. It don't matter what's going on and this, this, and that. I'm like, I mean, I guess. You feel me? Like, I trust me. Over here, we are not condoning. We are not condoning any sort of domestic violence whatsoever far as putting your hands on a on a woman or even vice versa a woman putting her hands on a man because i've i've seen that happen before and that's like bro like you feel me like that's what i'll be thinking like bro you need to like because ain't no way you you just that puffed up like the guy you hitting couldn't just take you out with like one quick hit but that's how some of the females be talking that's how they be coming at situations it's like I don't give a damn, and I'm just going at you, and I then start swinging, putting your hands like, oh, hold on now. Feel me? If I ain't put my hands on you, you give me that same respect and don't put your hands on me. That's tough, bro. That's tough. And that's the thing is, I've been in, I've been in a situation personally where, based off of what was happening to me, it should have been hands put on them. But you feel me? Me personally, I, it just didn't get to that for me. I'm like, bro, I don't like you can do whatever you're doing. Like, bro, when I say I, I got caught with one, I'm picking my clothes up type shit and they just, and I'm like, bro, I ain't, I ain't really even moved too much, but I'm like, bro, like what the, like what is you on? You feel me? And that's where it's like, gotta go. Gotta go, bro, because you're getting a little too bold. But if I turn around and put this strength on you, I ain't even the strongest nigga, but men are by and large stronger than women. But the way that some of them act is like, that's not the case. They just go at it like, I don't care. And, that, and mostly is because they either think you're not going to hit them back or they know if you do hit them back, they can basically either get you locked up or get you in a whole world of trouble type thing. You feel me? So they like, nigga, what's up? Like, yeah, I just hit you. What's up? It's like, cool, you got it. You got it. You feel me? You got it. That's tough, though, bro. Let's finish breaking this down. And the way he's looking down at her was like, bro, like, get up. Like, you're not, it's not that, you like, you're doing too much. And that's the thing. People want to say stuff like, well, Quavo this and Quavo that. Bro, the man still sat there and wait. He sat in the elevator with you, which I guess he had no real choice. But, I mean, he could have got off when the damn guy was just standing there. When the door first opened, he could have just literally walked off like, I'm out of here. But he waits, whatever floor they on, all right, the door open, and then he still waits there for you. Like, hey, come on, get up. That's going to be some ladies like, you could have at least helped her up and this and that. I could have, but... Did we see what she was doing at the start of the video? Come on now. But now she's about to try and get up, and it's like with the semantics almost to an extent. Like I said, your knee really could be hurt, but, it, but unless your shit is broke, come on now. She about to try and get up, fall back down for a second, and then get up. And then we're going to limp off. Now look at Quavo's step back. 
Step back a little bit like, hey, she might try to swing. I don't know. But you feel me? He stepped back kind of like that. But as you see right there, she didn't try to grab the orange uh, case no more. I would 100% assume nothing in that bag was hers. Or or in that in that case was hers. You feel me? Because now you don't have no energy as far as trying to get this orange bag like you did at the start, like it was yours or something. That does not make sense to me, but maybe that's just me, bro. Um, actually, should we pull up Twitter? Hold on, bro. Hold on. Yeah, we about, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna pull up Twitter real quick. Let's see what they talking about on there. Cause I know it's, man, come on coach. I know people on there are going crazy about this situation. So let's see what it is, bruh. Yeah, Quavo right here, trending number one. <clears throat> All right, TMZ got it. Let's just go to the comments off that. So Weedy hit him and tried to take his bag. Quavo grabbed and manhandled her. He didn't hit her, but still not okay. They are both wrong, and it's good they broke up. Now, that's true. And like I said, he didn't... Him yanking her, like I said, is going to have people looking like, bro, what are you doing? But then the large scheme of things, you right now, you watching this, who's listening? If you're a female or a male, whatever the case is, and you're a significant other, y'all and got into a little argument or whatever the case is, and they try to grab one of your bags or something that's yours, you feel me? And just try to walk or like, or like they about to run off with it or just take off with it. What are you going to do? Are you just going to be like, oh, uh, oh, man, that's fine. You ain't going to try to grab it from him. You ain't going to try to do nothing. You're just going to say, all right, that's fine. Just let him take it. Okay. Most people, you're going to be like, hey, give me my, like, that's mine. What are you doing? If you was taking your stuff, that's okay. You ain't just about to take mine and run off like, like, it's just okay. Now, like, now she said manhandled. Eh, manhandled. Some of y'all have done worse worse than of that to your damn kids. You feel me? Whenever they talking back to you doing something crazy, you've done worse than that to your kids. So manhandled, he literally pulled her back from, from with her. I think he was grabbing her, her, her arm and her hoodie. And then she's still trying to grab the, the case. So he grabs it and then he ends up on her basically like sliding it away from her. Cause like I said, I mean, still, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, he still could have handled it a little differently, I assume. But to me, that just based off of how the situation went from that one minute, 30 second clip. It didn't seem like he was doing that much as far as just trying to get his stuff back. Because like I said, once he got his stuff, it ain't like he was, you know, what I'm saying like beating the girl trying to get the damn case. He literally grabbed it, like put himself in between her, pushed it off. That's when she either hit her, her, her knee or her leg or whatever happened. And they kept, you know what I'm saying? And that was it. He got it. His stuff is in front of him now. And he's standing there. So to me, it didn't seem like he was doing it ma maliciously. It was more so like, I'm not about to let you run out of this elevator. Because if you get out of the elevator, now we're in the actual public eye here. Like anybody could be out here looking. And then I got to try and manhandle it from you outside. So I would rather grab you back in, get my stuff quietly where it's just us two. Obviously, it's a camera in there. But you feel me? If he let, if he just let her run out and then tried to chase after to try and get it then, that that would have been worse than what he did, in my opinion. Because then you got to try and do all that in front of people potentially being there watching. But facts, this is the first logical comment here. Why everyone acting like Quavo beat the shit out of her? That's no, that's that that's facts there. This this little ish, I'm thinking he beat the bit. All he did was box her out for the <laughs> See, bro. Now, that is. <laughs> Y'all remember when I say he put his body in between her? That's literally what he's saying here. He boxed her out for the damn rebound. She just 
She just got to get big down there. So these niggas are foolish, though. This thing is... And the, the reason I feel like we can laugh somewhat at this is because it's not that serious of a situation. Like, it ain't like he was full on uh, motherfucking Mike Tyson haymaker to the face type shit. Like, he pulled her back in, got his case. Her knee just happened to hit the damn ground or her leg. I would assume it was her damn knee. Because if your knee ever smacks the damn ground, you know how that how that pain feels. She pulled a motherfucking... Hold on. Hold on, my nigga. Let me show you how to create an amazing act. This is what Sweetie pulled, my nigga. There was a... <laughs> Hey, Quavo, Quavo, when she hit her knee, my nigga, hold on. Soon as she hit her knee. And, but, hold on, just look at this, though. Like, because Saweetie ain't just, she, right here. She was about, and he's trying to get it back. And what is she doing? Nope, nope. Like, she going, what? You give me my stuff? Like, what are you doing? That's why I get in here. Get in here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Soon as her knee hit that ground, this is what Saweetie did. Ah! 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 No cap, bro. Like I said, I ain't trying to laugh too much about it, make too much like jokes about it, but it's like, bro, literally, I feel like she more so did all that because he got the bag from her. Some of the females, y'all might know what I'm talking about, where it's like, I'm not necessarily even even that upset at the situation itself. You you more so mad because he kind of got the the uh, best of you in that moment. You feel me? Like oh he like she was trying to take it. He like get in here, give me the bag or the, or this damn case, and that's that. And of course you might hit your damn knee in the in the in the process of it. So now that's over exaggerated because oh. He got the bag from, I ain't get out the elevator. Now I'm just sitting here looking foolish type thing. So I feel like maybe that's what paid, played a, a part in her sitting there how long or as long as she did and all that. Um, but let's read a few more comments on Twitter and we going we gonna, we gonna to wrap it up after that. From the comments, I thought he brutally beat her or something. She tried, exact, bro, when I first heard, they said, Sweetie and Quavo altercation. I'm like, what? Or, or fight, I think it said. I'm like, fight? Then when they showed it, I'm like, uh, looked like he was just trying to get his bag back. And if he didn't do that, he wouldn't have got the bag back. She would have just ran off with it or did whatever she did. From the comments, I thought he brutally bear. She tried to steal his ish, then hit him like the bird she is. All right, you're doing a little bit too much. When that didn't work, she sat her stupid day on the floor, feeling stupid. Females in here like, how dare he not allow, <laughs> how dare he not allow himself to be abused? I do like that that part of it. How we how do we not know she tried to kick him out with his stuff cuz the bag is in the elevator and it looked like she tried to throw it throw it out and he came in and did all that extra stuff. That's her apartment complex, not his. Sir, what the hell are you talking about? What? Yeah, hey, hold on. Let's let let me reread that. This might be our last one, just because he's a, he said some food. How do we not know she tried to kick him out with all with his stuff, cause the bag in the elevator and it looked like she tried to throw it out, and he came and did all that extra stuff. That's her apartment complex, not his. Sir, what are you? First of all, does she stay in an apartment? All that big bag talk and seven figure. I feel like she stays in a house. I mean, maybe not. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. But what is he talking It's her apartment. Co How would you know whose apartment complex it is, my nigga? What are you talking about? But you talking about maybe she was trying to throw it out. She could have easily dropped that bag. <laughs> she could have easily dropped that outside of the elevator. Look at this. She picked it up. She could have easily he flew that thing. Instead, she's right there. Okay, you can now drop it to your right side if you're just trying to get it out of the elevator. But instead, you're holding on to it for whatever reason. He pulls you back in. You're still holding on to it. And either way, 
this comment, how do we not know she tried to kick him out with all his stuff? It doesn't matter. The elevator ain't yours. And this stuff that you're trying to throw out of the elevator is not yours. So regardless, you still in the wrong here because you're trying to grab something that is not yours and throw it out of the elevator if, if that's what you're actually trying to do here. You still doing you still should not be touching my stuff. You're gonna try to kick me out of the elevator because like what are you talking about? Come on, bruh. Cause they hate accountability. She tried to punch him and he dodged and pushed her to stop acting like he put stop acting like he punched her back while y'all mad at Quavo because they hate accountability. He didn't do nothing, he good, she flopped. Clearly he was leaving. She didn't want him to. He had his Xbox and she knew that meant he wasn't coming back. She tried to take it and he boxed her out like Shaq and he got it. Clearly he was leaving. Nigga, what are you talking about, bruh? Alright, bruh. So that's 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 that. What we at? 25 minutes. God dog. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. We didn't broke this whole situation down. Sure, it's going to be trending on Twitter for the next who knows how long, but y'all let me know, bro. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Quavo was in the wrong? Like I said, I do feel like he could have maybe done it a little different, but in the heat of the moment when she's just grabbing your stuff and you're like, I'm trying to get it, she going she gonna to try to box you out like, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't about to get it. Come here then. You feel me? Like, come here. Give me my stuff. You good now. Like, what? what to me, honestly, I see no no real issue with it. I just know that from the public side, it's going to look bad because of how he pulled her back. After that, really, what happened? All I did was grab my bag, moved you out of the way. Now I'm standing up with my bags in the front of me. And it's going to look a little worse in the public eyes because of how she sat there on the floor like like the nigga put a, like hit her with a baseball bat in the knee or something. You feel me? So that's why I feel like is more so going to come down on Quavo than it would Saweetie. And like I said, they're saying that Saweetie's team actually put this out. So I don't, I don't know, bro. I need y'all to get down in the comments. Let me know. We ain't got to go back and, or, you know what I'm saying, get into no arguments, but let's have some constructive uh, conversation down there in the comments about this situation. Um... Cause like I said, bro, stuff like this that can happen all the time. Like without a camera view, there could be somebody, a female who said he literally put his hands on me. And you're like, I did not put my hands on you. I well, eh, you kind of did, I guess, when you pulled her back in. But is that means for a domestic abuse a lawsuit or a conviction on me? No, but in some situations, that might be what it turns into. Cause there was no cameras and she said he did this and that he like well yeah i did grab her and then it's like all right well she's saying you hit her too you say you didn't hit her but you did say you put your hands on her to some extent so we're, we're just going to take her word for it you feel me but like i said y'all get down there in the comments let me know what y'all think about it um of course these two are broken up so it's not really too too much going on. Uh, I mean, I don't know if either one of them are, are going to come out and speak on it or say anything about it. Like I said, I know the Migos, I think, are dropping a music video soon. Saweetie's probably going to be gearing up to drop something off just to use some of this buzz uh, to kind of propel what, what she's about to, to drop if if she is dropping something. I would assume she, she a might. But we going to wait and see on that, bro. Either way, that's tough, bro. Another another relationship that was just three, four months ago, relationship goes. We see how that goes. You feel me? We see what that turns into when the slightest little situation happens. That's tough. That's tough, man. That's why you don't put no nobody up on no type on no type of pedestal, nothing like that. Just live your life how you feel it should be lived. And you'll be good, bro. You'll be good, man. These relationships is getting crazy out here, though, bro. Either way, that's just my thoughts on it. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Suggestions for new reactions. Be sure to drop those down below as well. Hey, man, we on the road to 20K subscribers. A hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.